everybody. I am Adrian Thompson. Kim Freeman. You are currently watching Two Dope Ladies in a Cadillac, Episode 1, The Glamorous Life. Uh, so here's the deal. Kim and I, we are stand-up comedians, uh, and we want to further our career uh, in the world of stand-up. And Kim, what do you need to further your career? A headshot. A good head Not yes. just any headshot, a good headshot. So where do you go to get good headshots? Glamour <laughs> shots! Why would you go to Glamour shots and do that? I tell you what. Watch this commercial and then it's a totally different experience. And so they did the makeup and, and I liked what they did. And then my hair was done in a totally different way. It just went from one positive experience to another. And I was very impressed that there weren't just two or three good pictures, but that almost every one was just excellent. It was just like uh, Queen for a Day. Yeah, they do not at all. Well, you, you gotta bring everything. Everything. No, they provided the. Um, wet and wild makeup yes. that clogged my pores <laughs> yes. for a good week. That airbrush, like oh. shellac. <laughs> that, well, I'll tell you all about that in a second. So anyways, we walk in, we've got our outfits, and, and Kim and I have basically coordinated our ensembles. This poor lady, <laughs> it took her a good 20 minutes to get it through her head, like what was actually happening. That like me and her would be in pictures together, and we would have pictures separate. And we had outfits that matched. This woman, it was like baffling her. Yeah, she couldn't get it together. She's like, you're going to do what now? What? Together? This is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> and then she was also baffled by the fact that Kim does hair and was able to be off be on off. a Saturday. She was like, what? <laughs> like, it's called self-employment. I think she it's, thought she worked at Fantastic Sam. I, I think she so. Was that like, was, you know, yeah. working for one of them I'll hair. my own boss. <laughs> one of them hair sweatshops. Yeah. They come. <laughs> Your boss lets you out on Saturdays. <laughs> So, we finally got it worked out as to what outfits we would wear and how we'd wear them and all this good stuff. So, then we decided to get our, you know, we sit down for our hair, makeup. Uh, now, my inspiration or what I was looking for was, you know, my hair, it, I think it's kind of flat. I wanted it big. It's, we were just like, get the rollers out, bitch. We want big <laughs> hair. <laughs> she said the curly hair. So, you want loose? Wait, nope, nope. Well, I want big. <laughs> and see, Kim being a professional she kind of like already knew the drill because I heard her in the chair she said when the lady was asking her Kim was like I already put some product in it's gonna hold and I'm like I didn't do that shit and you had to build a base when you have fine hair gotta put that boost in there first to get that base going it's all about the base yes so we get we get our uh, hair together and then it was makeup time now here's the funny thing uh she puts on her eyeshadow and I guess like eyeliner and stuff. Okay, that was fine. But then she kicks on this engine, and it sounds like um, oh god, like a Fiero engine. But it, well, it was like an old truck kind of. It was yeah. Just like it kicked in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she pulls out this airbrush pen, and I mean she goes to town on both of us. It was, I was afraid to breathe. I mean, I smoked yeah. cigarettes, and I was more concerned about my lung health at that point. Uh, so anyways, we got our, our hair and makeup. We're good to go. Uh, we start, go back into the studio to start taking these, these, uh, glorious pictures that you all will see here in a little bit. Um, that was hard. That was really hard because the photographer was into it, but she didn't, I don't think, understand our size and our ability. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, was, you know, I mean, like, I, I need you all to squeeze in here. Yeah. Squeeze a little tighter. I need you <laughs> And then, here's what really was bad, is it was hot. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know? And so, Kim and I were sweating, yeah. right? And I'm in all these spanks and, and Jesus Christ, like, everything. Uh, fancy dresses. It was, it was, uh... It takes a lot to squeeze yeah. all well, this and, stuff. The, the like, photographer kept saying, everybody thinks being a model is so easy. And I'm like, bitch, we ain't models, okay? Yeah. Let's not even... <laughs> Let's not even go there, okay? That's like me getting pulled over and saying, they like, oh, you know how to be black. No, I'm not yeah, black, no, you know? No, we're not models, no, so don't just, worry yeah. about it. Thanks, anyways, but um, it just seemed kind of patronizing to me. It, you know? Very much so, like, yeah. But anyways, so she, here's the photographer, like, ah, oh, they're sweating, we gotta pat yeah, down. Dab, dab your face, don't wipe, don't yeah. wipe, because, you know, that... <laughs> it smears yeah. all of that, that... Yeah, once that airbrush goes on, I think it really needs to set for a good 24 hours it, to harden. Yeah. You know. Was... Um, well, some of the lipstick that I'd used, it's the Fenty uh, lip paint, which is stains. Yes. And once it's on, I mean, it's on. And so, as I'm sweating and I'm trying to dab and pat and all this, 
my lipstick starts to smear. Well, the photographer then calls in our stylist, who, again, was having a really hard time grasping what yeah. was going on. Uh, after about the third time, the stylist had to come in to fix my lips. She was pissed. Yeah. She had had enough. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was touch and go near the end. I didn't know if we were going to get out of there all right. It, me know? either. I was a little a little scared for, you know, I'm going to be honest, a little scared when we were like, no, we're going to come back for our pictures. I thought she was going to shoot us. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, you get no pictures, yeah. bitch. <laughs> she, she, I've been here with you for four hours. She I'm probably like, thought that we were going to come in, get the footage, do the Groupon, and just bounce. <laughs> yeah, no, we're getting our dang. Yeah. We need the headshot. Exactly. Like we need them. <laughs> episode one of two dope ladies in a cadillac i had a good time did you have a good time i thoroughly enjoyed myself i think we both learned a lot about ourselves and our level of flexibility uh during a photo shoot and our level of our bank accounts yes yeah that <laughs> <laughs> we i spent more money on pictures of myself yeah we, ever, we this none of our it was the most selfish thing we've ever done you guys like no picture of families whatever but you know hey you gotta do what you gotta do we are moms and we have to splurge and and what we're important too. We're important. Yeah. We're important. But anyways, we hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please stay tuned. There's more episodes coming out. Uh, we'll be bringing in other comedians from this area. We'll be uh, visiting places yes. in this area. We've got a lot of stuff planned. A lot of fun stuff. Got some tours um, planned. Some tours. Yes. yes coming up. Um, also, if you have any suggestions on what Kim and I could do in the Cadillac, you know, where we could go, what we could see. Leave it in the comments. Shoot us a message on Facebook. It can't can involve meth. Uh, no meth. <laughs> we won't. No. Kim had an issue about right. a year ago. So uh, it's the thing. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you all. Thanks for checking us out. And stay tuned. For <laughs>